Tonight, new details in the disappearance of a Gwinnett County man. The case just taking a heartbreaking turn that his family says they feared weeks ago. 21 year old Leandre Flint vanished back in July along with his maroon truck that you see here in this image behind him. The last place he is believed to have been seen alive is the Marquis at Buckhead apartment complex right off Peachtree Road. 11 Live's Cody Alcorn is there for us live this evening with new details that you've just learned, Cody, just hours ago. And you say this is now unfortunately a homicide investigation. Jennifer, sadly, it is. I started covering this case three days after Leon Dre's cousin reported him missing on July 30th over in Gwinnett County. They started doing their own investigation, which led them here to the Buckhead area. They started putting out these missing persons flyers, even offering a cash reward. Little did they know at the time until just recently, he came to this apartment complex you just mentioned right down the street, Marquis at Buckhead, the last place he would be seen alive. An apartment inside this complex on Colonial Homes Drive in Buckhead would change everything in the case of Leandre Flint, a young man living 38 miles away in Loganville, who seems to have just vanished on July 29th. My sister actually knew the very next day. Something was very wrong. Because he, if he's not coming home, he's going to call. Shannon Wilson says it was his cousin's last call. We had records of his phone his last phone call. He says was made from the marquee at Buckhead the same day he disappeared. The family launching their own investigation as to why here. He did come to meet the girl. He came to meet a female that he met online. And when. He got her at 12 and by between 12 and 1 there were shots fired in the apartment complex. A promising lead. The information we got from the office was the people in the unit said it was a misfire. I don't, I don't know who misfires like five times, but that was their explanation for it. The information turned over to detectives. Then 18 days after Leandre disappeared, police searched an apartment at this complex and what they found inside, while it wasn't the 21 year old. But they have, they said they have other, other evidence that um, makes it a homicide. What little hope they were holding on to now gone. It is real hard. It's hard on the family, I'll tell you that much. There's really no closure. I mean, we can't, you can't have a funeral. I did reach out to APD to request an incident report from the search warrant executed here. They did release that to me. However, it gives no details on what they found inside the apartment, only that the evidence collected led the homicide unit to believe it was a homicide. Now, we mentioned that truck. It's still missing. The last time OnStar was able to ping that truck was in Detroit, Michigan, and they've not been able to find it since. It is still missing tonight, and so far, no one has been arrested in this case. Leandre Flint's family's right now biggest focus is finding his body so they can give him a proper burial. A heartbreaking update tonight, Cody. Thank you so much, and as you just heard from Cody, we have been following the search for Leandre from the beginning. To find our full coverage, just search for this story online at 11alive.com.